Okay, guys, this video, we're going to be building a full-fledged React dashboard with all of this beautiful financial data that we have. And doing this, we are going to build a sidebar. We are going to build a actual dashboard. And then within the dashboard, we are going to have a nested route that is going to allow us to have the actual company that we are looking at. So our company detail page. And then we can dynamically load our income statement, our balance sheet, and our cash flow statement underneath here so that we can get the best of both worlds. We can correctly see the company that we are looking at, and we can also see all of the relevant data that we are looking at. And the way that we are going to actually be doing this is we are going to be using something called nested routes in React Router DOM. And we are also going to be installing npm install React icons. First things first, just go to my website and copy all of this Tailwind dashboard code. You don't need to actually try to get the code out of all the CSS styles. I am going to just provide you with all of the code. And what you want to do is just go to here into the company page. We've already got our company page built. Let's just go ahead into here and let's copy and paste all of these styles and let's break apart everything that we see into individual components. So when I go ahead and I paste this into here, I'm gonna say, let's just say Tesla, just to get an example up and let's go ahead and start our project because we do need to actually start our project to see things. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this and let's go ahead and see what we have here. So go ahead, load it. And when we load it, what we get is we get a nice little dashboard that looks like this, but there's no actual code providing any data that we want. So everything's hard coded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into here and create components for everything. So I'm gonna turn these tiles into components. I'm gonna turn this sidebar into a component, and then I'm going to turn the actual whole entire page into a component itself. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and create the sidebar you could create however you want to out of all of this CSS, but I'm gonna go ahead up into here. I'm going to create my sidebar just like this. So say sidebar, I'm gonna go sidebar TSX, add sidebar CSS as well too. So we'll say sidebar.css. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up to here and go ahead and just add my snippet. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna get everything out of this nav right here because that is going to be pretty much our sidebar. So I'm gonna go into here. I'm also going to have my sidebar as well too, and it automatically imported it. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste all this nav bar code into my sidebar. And let's just go ahead and test to make sure that it works. And it is indeed working and looking good. So now what I'm going to do is same exact thing, but I'm going to do it for the actual dashboard. So I'm going to split the dashboard part two. So I'm gonna go down to that second div. If you didn't see what I did there, I just went to the second div because it's wrapped in a uh, pretty much a giant div itself. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and then I'm going to copy this within a company dashboard. So I also need to go to here. I need to create a company dashboard as well too. So I'll say here, I'll say company dashboard.tsx and go ahead into here and add my snippet. Then I'm going to do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna say company dashboard.css and that will look great. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste all of that into here. Still looking good, still looking okay. And then now what we need to do is we need to actually start wiring and hooking all of this stuff up. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to the actual uh, company profile page and I'm going to say company dashboard. So let's just go ahead into here and bring in our company dashboard just like this. So that's looking good. And also you could work on whatever one that you wanted to, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start working on the links in the actual sidebar. So I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna say link and we are going to link this to our company profile. Company profile, 
and we don't really need too many styles, but we do need some to make it look a little bit better. And we're gonna say class name, and we are going to give this a style of flex. So we are going to say flex, we're going to say medium min with full, and we'll also check, uh, we'll say, blue gray we'll give this 500 tech extra small uh, i might make this medium you could make this medium you could make it extra small say uppercase font bold block and we'll give it a little bit of padding so we'll say pt and say pt1 padding bottom four and no underline we don't want this we don't want our actual links to be underlined just like that okay so that is looking good we need to control dot and react router dom is probably not going to work so it'll say import link from react dom so go ahead let the formatter take care of all of that and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually wrap these links and what we're going to place in these links is a react icon so you could put whatever you want to in here i'm going to say fa home and if you installed actual react icons React icons are uh, another one of those that are very finicky. So I'll say FA home and we'll say from uh, React icons slash FA. And that is going to be font awesome. And if you want to use your own individual icons, you can just go to React icons like this and you can just type in, I don't know, money and it will bring different money symbols or any type of business related symbol that you are going to need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to give this a title. So I'm going to say H6, say class name. And this is going to have a margin left of three. We need to move it over a little bit. And we are going to say company profile, just like that. And that actually should look good. And we need to add one more just for, we need to add one more just for testing sake. And then we need to actually wire up our actual routes because these routes don't work and then we're going to need income statement and i'm just going to go ahead and copy this down i am going to say income statement these routes don't actually work so we need to add them and remember these routes are going to be nested these are once again nested routes so the way that we create nested routes is not that much different from how we actually create any other route. So go ahead, bring this down here. We're going to add another comma and then we're going to add children here. So we're going to say these are going to be our children paths. And these aren't going to be different from any other path that we have up here. So what we can do is we can actually just copy all this stuff down here so we don't have to copy all the uh, the paths. Then what we'll do is we'll add another one because we need we're actually we actually have two paths right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to give this a path of, you guessed it, company profile. And this is going to be our actual company profile. We don't actually have this element yet. So we're going to have to create that. And then we're going to actually have an income statement. And we'll go ahead and create those. So first things first, let's go to our actual company profile. We'll go ahead and create these up front. So I'm going to go into my component say company profile, just like this. So company profile.tsx. So company profile.tsx. And we'll say company profile.css. So company profile.css. And then we also need, what was the other one that we needed? We also needed our income statement. And we're not going to create these right now. We're just going to make them so that we can see dummy data and we can just have sort of filler data for our routes. So go here, say income statement.tsx, then we'll say income statement.css. And this will come in handy later so we don't have to actually make all of these and we can uh, see our app more clearly, I guess you could say. So company profile, so we'll say here, and we work, so company profile, we'll go ahead, bring that in and we need to add the actual snippet up here and we need to go back to then we need to actually create our income statement so i'll say income statement and make sure that i added the snippet to here so we'll say t-a-s-r-a-f-c-e and like i said we don't need to actually populate it with any data because we're not at that point in the app just yet 
but we also need to test our nested routes to see if they're working. So we can't just leave those empty, so to speak. Then what we want to do is we want to actually go back to our company dashboard and we need to go ahead and create our tiles as well too. We have these neat little tiles up here and we need to actually break these apart. We want to make these reusable so that we can use them all throughout our app. And the way that we're gonna do that is, you guessed it, we're going to just take one of these and we're going to toss it inside of a React component. So let's go ahead up here, let's see which, which we need. So this is the actual tile. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna get this one tile and then I'm going to delete just the rest of them. Just all the way down, just delete the rest of the tiles and then just put my own tile and set it inside of its own component. So go here and also go down here. And this is where our flex wrap is and we can go ahead and just delete these. And that looks good. Now what we're going to do is go into our components. And once again, I know we're creating a lot of components here, but this is just one part of it. And this will all be over just here in a second. So we'll say it is a lot of boilerplate. I am aware of that, but sometimes code has a lot of boilerplate. So we'll go into here, we'll say tile.css, and I'm going to just go into here and I'm going to paste that code that we took out and now what we need to do is we need to make our actual tile reusable so that we can pass stuff into it. And this is the beauty of React. This is what makes React so awesome. So we'll go into here, we'll say subtitle. We can pass in a title and a subtitle to our actual tile here. And we will say title and we'll say subtitle right here. And that will look good. Now what we need to do is we need to pass in all of this. So this is going to be our actual title and this is going to be our actual subtitle. You can call that, you could probably call this whatever you want to. You could call this number or you could call this the title and you could call this a, you know extra information, whatever you want to, but that's just what I did. Okay, so back to the company dashboard. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that all of this is being wired up within our company dashboard. You see, it's working, but our company dashboard is not showing up and we don't have any of this cool extra information that I showed you guys up here. We want our we want our tiles to be populated with information and we also want our income statement to be shown down here. And right now it's not doing that. So we need to make it do that. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back to our dashboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass it what's called an outlet again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this the outlet. And this is where our nested routes are going to come in. This outlet is going to provide us with a nested route so that we can get all of our income statements and we can get all of the actual pages to actually load on our page on a click. So we'll say React Router DOM and we'll go down here. So that's our outlet. We need to actually be able to pass our company dashboard children. So if we want to see children, and if you don't know what children are in React, it's kind of just one of those things that you want, that you just have to see is this right here, these tiles are going to be our children. And if you don't know what that means, let's just go ahead and let's create a place for our children so we can see them in our tiles. And this is actually going to be very, very cool. So we'll say children, just like this. Then we're gonna go up into here and we're going to create children props because that's what they are. They're almost like a very special kind of props and we even have to type them in a very special way. So if you want to type uh, actual children in React TypeScript, what you have to do is you just have to put in React, React node right here. Okay, so this is actually looking really good, but when we did that, we got an error because now we have to actually pass it children. And what kind of children are we even going to pass to it? Let's pass it a couple tiles and pass in data to our actual tiles. So we'll go here, we'll say title, and our title is going to be company name. And you could put whatever you want to in here. This is kind of the beauty of it. And we'll say subtitle just right here. And I'm gonna say subtitle and I'm going to pass in the company and we're going to pass in the company name just like this. And we're going to go ahead and close that out. And we need to go ahead and we also need to bring it in as well too. So if we go ahead 
uh, we go ahead and we, so if we go ahead and we refresh it, let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. And let me show you guys how cool this actually looks. So when we actually refresh, what's going to happen is we're going to get the company name just like this. And then also when we click the individual company profile and we click the income statement, you will also see the company profile in the income statement located right beneath it. And that is going to be very powerful because now we can show not only our company name and extra above the fold company information, but once again, we can now see all of this juicy data that we wanted before and we can see and we can make our dashboard a lot more powerful. Anyways, that's gonna be the video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.